Have you lost your valuable data from your storage? In this video, you will see completely free data recovery software to recover permanently deleted files. The free data recovery software I am going to show in this video is WinFAR GUI. It is the most efficient free data recovery software that you can use to recover your permanently deleted data. In some cases, it even recovers formatted drive data also. Here I have this My Data NTFS drive, which contains different types of files. There are total 13 files. I am going to permanently delete these files. Then we will use WinFAR GUI to recover the data. Let's first install this software. To install this data recovery software, you can open the winfr.org and download its installer. Once the installer is downloaded, open the installer. Click on the Yes in the UAC pop-up. Choose the language and click OK. Click on Next and the program will install. Click on Finish and WinFAR UI will open. Now you will see the graphical interface of recovery software. There is also a command line interface, which you can download from the Microsoft Store. But this GUI is much more convenient and does the job effectively. Here on this panel, you will see all your partitions. You can select one which you want to scan for deleted files. I am selecting this My Data Drive. The next thing you need to specify is the location where you want to save the recovered files. You should select a separate partition to save your recovered data, as if you select the same drive it could replace the data. So we will select a location in a different partition and create a new folder for this. Let's name it Recovery Data. Here you will see the scanning mode. You can select between Quick Scan and Deep Scan. The Quick Scan mode works on the NTFS partitions. It recovers files with the directory structure and file names. The Deep Scan mode works on all types of file systems and it recovers more files that have lost the directory structure and file names. The deep scan mode takes some time to scan and recover the data, so you can select the mode according to your needs. Now let's check the advanced settings. Here you can select the target file types. You can target documents, photos, videos, audio, web pages, and compressed file types. Or enter the custom file types to look for. You can also see the starting sector, number of sectors, and cluster size in byte options. After configuring these settings, click OK. Now we can begin the recovery process, so click on Start Recovery. Now depending on the scan mode you selected and the files on the partition, the recovery process will take time. If you have selected the deep scan mode, it will take more time. Once the scan is complete, you can see the details, number of files found, and the location where the recovered files are saved. There were 13 files in the drive, but here it is showing only 10. We will check the recovery log to know which files it missed. You can click on View Recovered Files to check them. The recovered files are arranged in folders according to their category and then file types. You can open the folders and check the recovered files. You can see it has recovered documents, images, videos, and some zip files. Here you will see a text file named Recovery Log. If you open it, you can see a detailed report. You can see the recovered file names. Now here it is showing total recovered files are 13. There might be some glitch in the GUI final window, which was showing only 10 files. It has recovered all the deleted files. What else do we need? So if you have a USB drive or a micro SD card that has been formatted or data is deleted, you can use the WinFAR GUI and recover your data. That's it for this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them below. And share this useful video with your friends and family. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to press the bell button to receive alerts for videos on Windows tips and tricks.